Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite Halloween polishes that I'm loving right now. Let's go ahead and get started. So this first one is actually my all-time favorite. This is Day and Nightshade by Femme Fatale. This polish had a limited run on polish pickup, so unfortunately it is no longer available, but if you ever get the opportunity to grab this one on D-Stash, I highly recommend you do. So the reason I chose this one for Halloween is because it really gives me such Ursula slash Siren slash Evil Mermaid vibes and it's really perfect for Halloween. So I am throwing on a third coat of this so that you can really see the depth of all those glitters in there. Honestly, my favorite finish is where those chunky glitters look like they're swimming in the polish and it just makes it that much more special for this evil mermaidy type of polish. Now this one was fully opaque in three coats, but I did go ahead and put on a fourth because I wanted to see if we could get any more depth here. And honestly, I really do love it in four coats and I would wear it this way because it's not too thick. So here's the full hand swatch for Day and Nightshade by Femme Fatale. Next up we have Butta Corpse by China Glaze. This one is not usually available on the China Glaze website, but you can find it at many other retailers. So this one is almost there in the first coat. I am going to put on a second coat just for full opacity. This is one of the most unique polishes I've ever seen and it really reminds me of like a zombie or a corpse just like the name suggests. So this does dry down to a matte finish and it does have a texture to it so if you do want to smooth it out you can use a matte top coat. Here in the next shot is going to be without top coat. And here is the full hand swatch of a butt of corpse. So these next two are Venom and Poison and I'm showing them together because they were part of the same collection that came out in Halloween of 2022. So these are both magnetic, so I'm just going to show what they look like when they're actually being magnetized. This first one is very appropriately named Venom because it does give you very sneaky, very serpentine vibes, which are perfect for Halloween. I ended up doing two coats for opacity and I absolutely love the way this turned out. And here is the full hand swatch of Venom by ILNP. My other pick from ILNP's Trap Collection was Poison, and this one is also appropriately named because it looks just like a poison apple. So here's what it's looking like in two coats. As you can see, it's not as opaque as Venom, so I am going to go in with a third coat for this one. So here we have three coats of Poison by ILNP.
You'll be able to see that the red base color on this is not really fully opaque even after three coats, but honestly it just makes it look like blood which is so appropriate for Halloween anyways. And here's the full hand swatch of Poison by ILNP. So number 5 on my top 10 list is I Am Calm by Glam Polish. So this one is another one of those polishes that looks like the glitters are swimming in the base color and it just reminds me of like witch's brew or some sort of poison. There is also some sort of what looks like maybe holographic micro glitter in here. You can't really see it, but it does make the polish just pop a little bit more. Now this particular polish is seasonal and limited edition, but I did see where they brought it back again this year, but you'll only be able to buy it during the Halloween season. So here's the full hand swatch of I Am Calm by Glam Polish. The next polish on this list is So Fly by Orly. I had to pick a neon green in this list because it pairs so nicely with black for Halloween and one of my favorites is this color So Fly. Hopefully it's showing up on camera how neon this color really is. And here's the full hand swatch of So Fly by Orly. Number 7 on the list is Potion by Picture Polish. This is an Australian brand, but you can get most of their colors here in the US. This brand of polish is honestly the most self-leveling nail polish I've ever used, and it's so shiny that you don't even need top coat. And here is a full hand swatch of Potion by Picture Polish. It does look black here, but in natural light, it is a deep eggplant purple. Next up on the list, I have Ghosts and Goblins Come to Play by Glam Polish. This polish is so special because it has those neon green, neon orange, and purple hex glitters that are so quintessential of Halloween colors. But then in addition to that, it also has irregularly shaped black shards in there as well. And then it also has metallic purple shards in there to make it that much extra special. And I know I said special like five times, but this polish really is one of a kind in my collection. So depending on your nail length with these white curlies, you could get away with two or three coats, but I actually did four coats total here just to see how jam packed I could really get all these glitters on the nail. Sometimes those glitters or shards can get lost, especially in more opaque base coats. So if you want to not have to do more coats, you can just do some strategic glitter placement instead. So you can see here, even after four coats, it really doesn't look too thick on the nail. So you can really do as many coats as you want for personal preference. So here's the full hand swatch of Ghosts and Goblins Come to Play. Number 9 on my top 10 list is I Smell Children by Glam Polish. This one has a similar formula to the previous polish, but it's a white curly with different sizes of gold, red, and orange metallic glitters.
Again, the formula of this one was not too thick, so you can really do as many coats as you want for personal preference, depending on how many glitters you want to get on the nail. So I ended this one with three coats and I'm really happy with the amount of glitters I was able to get on this nail. And here's the full hand swatch of I Smell Children by Glam Polish. And last but not least on my top 10 list is Melica Mystica by Mooncat. This collab with Hocus Pocus 2 had a limited run. It'll probably never be available for purchase again, so the only way you can get this polish is by Destash. If you do ever get the chance to pick this up secondhand, I highly recommend it because it is a gorgeous polish. So Melica Mystica is a magnetic, so I'm gonna show it to you magnetized. This is a very thick, but very self-leveling polish. So on the second coat, you can start to see those flakies in the base color. That paired with the magnetic effect really give this polish a very mystical, very magical effect. I ended up going in with a third coat on this one, just to show you the depth of this polish. And here's the full hand swatch for Melica Mystica by Mooncat. So that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Halloween polish is. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!